Hello, America. This is Joe Simons. Like Diamonds. And Luke Simons. We've got a pretty cool one here today, don't we? Yeah, it's going to be good. I, in my opinion, the, the group that's kind of disrupting how Fishing Tackle is sold and distributed, we've been following them for a long time. We talked offline earlier that we got sent a video, like before we even started Salt Strong, with this... Carl Von Dribble guy, this KVD, KVD. KVD. The, re the real KVD, and we were just crying, <laughs> laughing, and uh, now we have the pleasure of interviewing uh, one of the founders here, Mr. Jeremy of Mystery Tackle Box. You there, my man? I am here, guys. Appreciate you having me on. I'm excited. Absolutely. So, for I don't know, very a small amount of Americans that haven't heard about Mystery Tackle Box and what you guys are doing, uh, tell us about what you're doing and, and share with with them what you shared with us earlier about your your new box coming out or I guess it just came out and has already taken off. Tell us everything that, that we could possibly want to know and where to follow you as well. Yeah, you got it. Um, so um, I'm a co-founder of a company called mysterytacklebox.com. Uh, we are a monthly subscription service for fishermen. So for $15 a month, we send you a box in the mail uh, geared towards the species of your choice. We have bass fishing boxes. We've got inshore salt fishing boxes uh, and panfish boxes most recently. Um, so for $15 a month, we send you a box of tackle. There's always well over $20 in the box. Shipping is free. We ship to all 50 states in Canada. Um, our entire team is comprised of lifelong fishermen, uh, so we put a lot of thought into these boxes. We're not talking about you know discontinued overstock items. These are these are items that are brand new. We consider very innovative, high quality products. Um, so it's a it's a really exciting way to discover products as a fisherman. Um, you know you can always walk into a big box store and sure the we got the aisles, you know, pegged by category, but um, we also work with some small, mid-sized companies that you're not going to see in the big box store. So it's a fantastic way to discover new brands and uh, baits and techniques that you may not have otherwise heard of. Uh, but the most recent offering, as you mentioned, was uh, was our panfish box, which we just launched uh, on the 10th of the month, 10th of March, um, and that's really taken off. People seem to to really ha there's a lot of demand for that style of box. Um, we're the first in the industry to, to offer that, so we're excited about. Getting that out there um, in the in in the winter time as well. We we did an ice fishing box which had a, a great response. People are excited to drill holes and drop their mystery tackle down the down the hole. So it was it was a good thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I actually went ice fishing one time. It was a crazy experience. I obviously in Florida that was completely new to me, and it was it was an actual blast. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You guys do that as well. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I went ice fishing for the first time uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, and I'm a Floridian as well. It was the first time of mine on hard water, and, man, it's an eye-opening experience. You know, we, we drilled 150 holes. Guys walk out with a flasher, shoot the cone of radar, you know, sonar down, find the fish. You can literally see that tiny jig moving on the screen. It, I mean, it is wild. It is wild. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. And also, too, you guys have that inshore one. That, that, how long has that been out? That, that's fairly recent, right? Yeah, we launched that. The first box mailed out in uh, December for the inshore saltwater, um, and that, that's gone over extremely well. We're seeing some, some significant growth in that category as well. Yeah, and one thing I want to point out, we've seen some of the boxes and, and, and read a lot of reviews on them as, uh, as well and seen some of the YouTube video reviews, and if someone did go to the big box store and tried to buy all the stuff that you send them, they would pay a whole lot more than they're paying for the subscription, correct? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, our, our average value is probably around $25 retail. So it's a, it's a tremendous value for $15, and shipping is free on top of that. So, um, yeah, I mean, there, everyone seems to really like it. We introduce people to new baits. They discover new products that they wouldn't have otherwise ever found. Um, we also help some products launch brand new products into the marketplace. Uh, for example, the, the Rage Tail Rage Bug, we were one of the first to actually distribute that to customers in the in North America to help build some buzz about it and get some customer feedback. So um, it's it's fun. It's fun from both sides of it, from a you know from a B to B and and also the the B to C side of things. Yep, yeah, that's awesome. that's really cool. And you don't have to get in your car. You know, I, I don't I don't like to drive anymore. I like everything delivered to my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right right to your mailbox. Christmas once a month. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, so we, we know you fish a lot. So what would be your, your most, uh, just your memorable or, or favorite just day or moment on the water fishing? Um, let's see. I had a really bizarre and memorable uh, fishing experience probably about five years ago. Um, I was down in Florida fishing uh, the no motor zone up near Cape Canaveral. I think it's either Mosquito Lagoon or Indian River. I always mix them up. Uh, but basically, no motors, not even a trolling motor allowed on the deck of the boat, regardless if you're using it or not. So 
my buddy and I are in a canoe. We, we launch and we head straight to the no motor zone. And about two miles in, we see a tailing redfish. Cast at it, takes it, hook up, two, two cranks and dink. My, my Albright knot didn't hold up between the leader material and the braid. So I was like, great. That was a rookie mistake. I didn't tighten it down correctly. So we keep paddling. We're catching fish here and there. It was a pretty good, pretty solid, consistent day of fishing. I mean, we must have gone five more miles, made a U-turn, and then against the wind had to come all the way back. Uh, I mean, to the point where I was, like, rationing my sandwich. I was like, man, we bit off more than we could chew here. Like, this is taking forever. It's getting, we're almost out of water. So um, then, then I see a tail, you know, in the distance. I was like, all right, here we go again. Cast the oh no actually my buddy casted the fish, uh, redfish hooks up on it lands him and we get this fish in the boat he has mild hook mild soft plastic and about a foot and a half leader in its mouth so we literally covered <laughs> you know eight or nine miles of water over the course of like four or five hours and we see this same fish tailing buddy catches it so then we get the hook back and we get you know we get it out of him and. I mean, I, it just blew my mind. There were so many square miles of water that we traversed, and we yeah. the same fish. It just blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds? Uh, it's, it's pretty cool to see that they recover so fast that they have a hook in their mouth. They're already eating again. That's uh, yeah, that's it was hilarious. just happy tail and just chowing down like nothing ever happened. It was unbelievable. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I've never heard that one. That's incredible. <laughs> So, uh, what? Tell us, like a, a bucket list fish, I, anything freshwater, saltwater, anywhere in the world, something that you just would die to catch. Oh man, uh, I have two freshwater, a taimen in Mongolia, which is like wow. a, a giant strain of trout that gets up to like over 200 pounds, is I think the world record. Um, and those are very. I mean, it's Mongolia. You got to make a heck of a journey to even get get near one. Um, and then saltwater, I'd love to tangle with a rooster fish. That just looks like a ton of fun. It's a gorgeous fish. So I know they're, they're a little tricky to, to track down and catch, so that, that, those would be my, my two. Yeah, it's that Very rooster cool. fish is me, too. That's one. It's just, they just look incredible, and uh, I've always wanted to catch one. That's, that is the top one on my list as well. Just for the picture, right? And you're holding that yeah. rooster, yeah. the big, the big t- thing, the tail or the fins coming off the top of it. Yeah. That's yeah, like awesome. How about if there's only one fish in the world that you could catch? You can only catch one fish for the rest of your life. What would that one be? Um, uh, I gotta say bass, bass fishing. Yeah. Yeah. There's just nothing that compares to that top water explosion, and they're everywhere. And yeah, I'd I'd say bass fishing for sure. Good answer. Yep, we like bass. We we grew up bass fishing in a little lake in uh, Winter Haven, Florida. So that was uh that was where it all started. Oh, I I did Never... the same thing. I grew up in Longwood. That's not too far from uh, Winter Haven. Oh yeah, yeah, very cool. Yeah, but we, we were like off- offline. We talked earlier, and uh, we talked about just that excitement of bass fishing's awesome. You can catch them all day long, but all of a sudden you get out in the salt water, and you don't know what you're going to catch, right? And there's so many different species you can catch, and uh, we kind of got addicted to that. So yeah, but it's all uh, I, I still go bass fishing a lot any, any chance I get. But uh, yeah, I, I love them both. Just just nice to be on the water, really. That's yeah, what it's all I, about, I brother. every aspect of the sport. I, I have a fly rod. I go out west every year, catch trout on the fly, go bone fish on the fly. Inshore, offshore, bass fishing, I mean, ice fishing as of last year. So, I, I mean, there's nothing about the sport I, I'm not involved with or I don't try to be anyway. <laughs> so whenever you go somewhere new, do you uh, purposely self-ship mystery tackle boxes to your new destination? <laughs> <laughs> well, so when I'm down here in Florida, for example, uh, every month I send uh, my parents a box. So when I come down here, I just have this awesome assortment of tackle that I don't have to uh, bring anything down at all other than a rod and reel. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> maybe that'll be the next thing is uh, mystery tackle boxes and there's maybe every quarter or mystery reels. Mystery reels, yeah. Mystery <laughs> rods. Yeah, yeah, we've got a couple other ideas in the works. Cool, man. Wait, so if you could fish with anyone living today, freshwater, saltwater, just anyone living, it could be family member, a celebrity, whatever it is, who would it be? Who would you like to fish with? Oh, uh, let's see. I think. Um, I think I'm going to say Patrick Sabeel, and I just met, well, I, I've met him, you know, a couple years ago, but uh, had a good time to connect with him and talk with him at the Bassmaster Classic, and he's got to cool. be, like, the most passionate lure designer I've ever met in my life, and, and probably the most accomplished fisherman on the planet. I mean, he has 
something like 400 IFGA world records of, and he's wow. caught like, or maybe it's not that many, maybe it's 200 and change, but he's caught over like 400 and some odd documented species all over the world. Um, and he's just like inspirational. I mean, you spend five, five minutes with him and it's just, you know, the most inspirational guy uh, you'll meet. So, um, I do have an invitation to fish with him, so I, I'm hoping it'll happen. But, uh, but yeah, right. I, I, I'd love to spend a day on the water with, uh, with Patrick. Well, maybe he'll, uh, we'll make sure he watches this and, uh, we'll really make sure it happens. Uh, <laughs> man, I'm sure that guy's got more, he's probably got more stories than anyone, uh, as well. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, my friend. Well, now it's time for the quiz questions. As you know, we're taking a Wounded Warrior out fishing with us here very shortly, and uh, we're going to be giving $5,000 of our own money to the Wounded Warrior Project. And whatever anglers and experts, people like yourself, have the most questions right, we're going to donate some of that money in your names. So, Mr. Jeremy from Mr. Tackle Box, are you ready? I'm ready. Bring it on. <laughs> Some of these, and I'll, we'll try to help you out a little bit. Some are tricks, kind of, but uh, most of them are fairly easy. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we learned from our very first one with uh, Captain Jeff that we, <laughs> we these were way too. Some of these were way too hard, so we had to we had to simplify it a little bit. Yeah, so. some are camp. They're not all fishing. Some are camping. Some are hunting. But uh, you know, okay, see what we have here. Like, well, like this first one. Can dried manure be used as fuel for a fire? Yes or no? Can dried manure be used as fuel for a fire when out camping? I watch enough uh, survival shows to know that that is true. Yes, nice. it is. On the board. Yeah, and it sounds like you, you, you guys were almost there when you were rationing out food. It was like a survivor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, it didn't go that far, but uh, I, if there were cows around, I'd definitely have my eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, this is an interesting one here. Uh, multiple choice. How many species of salmon must an angler catch in his or her lifetime to qualify for the IGFA Salmon Royal Slam Cum Club? Is it five, six, or seven species of salmon to qualify for the IGFA's Salmon Royal Slam Club? Five, six, or seven? Five, six, or seven. Let's see. So we've got the Colos, the Chinooks, the Pinks, the... Uh, three. There's, there's like a dogfish. I don't know if that's a salmon. Um, five, six, or seven. I'm gonna say five, only because I can't think of more than that. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually six, and we don't have them listed out, but it, the answer is six. Yeah, I, I had no idea what that one. Yeah, was. it's it's crapshoot. Um. I think I think I have enough here without having to ask that. Yep. Uh, this could tie into it. What What is a sockeye? Uh, hint. It, it ties in the last question. What is a sockeye? A species of what? <laughs> uh, species of fish, specifically a salmon, in the there salmon family, I believe. Yep. You got it. Perfect. That's two. Two of three. I think you're going to get this. This is not a trick question. True or false? Sharks have multiple rows of teeth which periodically fall or get knocked out. True or false? That is true. That is true, my friend. Teeth everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this island, too, where it's I look at squirrel, they're everywhere. It's, uh, it's wild how many sharks are out there. I, cr I created a little uh, three foot by three foot area just to see how many I could find in a, in a three foot by three foot area. I'm basically on my hands and knees. I think I got 12 sharks eating that one little area. Uh, oh, yeah. And it's just they're everywhere. It's, it's great. On average, how many people die annually in the entire country, this is America, from snake bites? On our, and this is multiple choice. On average, how many people die annually in the entire country from snake bites? 15. 35, 52, or 78? 15, 35, 52, or 78? This is another tough one. Man, I thought you said that these were easier. <laughs> so it's not 78. We'll, we'll do uh, out of three. So 15, 35, 52. Uh, let's go 32. Uh, 15. 15. 15. Yeah, that was, uh, All right, you got these. The next, next two. A depth finder uses what to map out the water underneath you? What is it using? We like you kind of already talked yeah, about this a little this bit. 
So a depth yeah. finder uses uh, sonar. There it is. He's good. That ice fishing paid off. That's right. <laughs> All right, this is the final one. Is a big mouth buffalo, is it a large buffalo, an ugly person, or a freshwater fish? What is a big mouth buffalo, a large buffalo, an ugly person, or a freshwater fish? <laughs> Can there be more than one answer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um... I believe it's a type of carp, and I think they're calling it buffalo fish to appeal to people uh, on the menu, so they'll they'll eat it and they don't think, oh, I'm just eating carp. They're calling them like buffalo fish or something. Yep, there you go. Well he, yeah, he, he knows yeah. more than the, the quiz does. Yep, awesome, man. Uh, that's uh, five out of uh, seven. Incredible job. You're up there at the very uh, very top. Uh, so who, man, who's, and just uh, who's in the they, lead so far? We had two people. I uh, actually got a perfect score. Um, oh, yeah, it was five, five was the most. Yeah, no five. one had beat five, Three and people then had five for a, that was the max for a while. And I don't think anybody's got six. Uh, two people got seven. Yeah, Tom Rowland of uh, Saltwater Experience and a uh, Cameron Kirk Connell, the uh, thirteen uh, world, world record holder of uh, spearfishing. Uh, both of them. He said, "Just oh, yeah, wow. your questions Impressive. are very difficult." Yeah, those, yeah. those ones you had, those two that you missed were incredibly difficult. So. And there's always one like that where you could have you could have hit it. I mean, there's just two kind of crapshoot guesses on a multiple choice, and uh, that's that's you just never know. So, but man, thank you so much. So tell everyone where, where's the best place? Just mysterytacklebox.com is that the best place? Go look at the subscriptions and check out all your different boxes. Yeah, mysterytacklebox.com has all the information about our, our service and subscription plans. Uh, we also do gifts. So if you have a you know friend or family member, the birthday around the holidays, our gift subscriptions are extremely extremely popular. Uh, follow us on Facebook. We've got over 200,000 Facebook fans. It's a great way to engage with our online community. Um, Instagram is Mystery Tackle Box. Twitter is Mystery Tackle Box with no O at the end, just Mystery Tackle BX. Uh, but yeah, check us out on social media. And uh, man, thanks guys for having me. I had a good time. Absolutely. Uh, and, and we want to reiterate, not only go to mysterytacklebox.com and get yourself a subscription, but also go check out the, their YouTube uh, videos. Yeah, those commercials are hilarious. Yeah, and, and Mr. Carl Von, Von uh, Dibble, I believe his name is. KVD. KVD. Yeah. Uh, just hilarious. Yeah, keep those things coming to us. <laughs> yeah, the, the other KVD. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, all his videos are under uh, our Mystery Tackle Box YouTube channel. You can check them out there. Cool. Awesome. Everyone, check them out. Jeremy, thank you so much for uh, for the time, my friend, and uh, hopefully we'll see you down here one of these days in uh, in Florida, and we'll test out some of your mystery tackle gear on some big fish. Let's do it. Ah, oh, brother, thank you again for the time. Thanks, guys. Take care, man.